All right, guys, we're going to switch things up a little bit and I'm going to do a voiceover on my wife's uh, baking tutorial. So I hope you enjoy and check it out. Voiceover. Hey, everybody, this is uh, Jolanda. I'm going to teach you how to bake some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Some some easy things right here real quick for you to do whenever you want. Yep, that's right. Only six ingredients. So that went by too quick. I can't read the rest. Box brownie mix. That's what you're going to need. Uh, preferably Betty Crocker, uh, two eggs, um, just half a cup of vegetable oil, uh, water. You don't have to put it in here. You can put it in, in whatever container you want. A Hershey bar, one of those, and a bunch of the sugar. The more, the better. All right. So you uh, put the Betty Crocker stuff in this uh, little uh, mixing bowl. You're going to put the eggs in there. Make sure when you crack them in there that you don't leave any shells. Nobody wants to eat brownies with uh, eggshells in them. Now you're going to whip it up. That's right. Whip it up. Okay. Yeah, a few times. Turn it. Whip it and turn it. Whip it. Whip it and turn it. That's right. Okay. Keep doing that. It's still a little bit dry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this vegetable oil in there. Swoop. There it is. Throw that in there. And uh, take this this little uh, measuring thing. Although you could have just, you know, put, poured the water directly in there. But that's fine. Uh, you can do this as well. And throw that in there and, and mix it. That's right. Turn it over. Real nice. Now, you could use a, a KitchenAid mixer or whatever kind of mixer you want. Or you can do it this way. Whatever way you, you like, I guess. Depends on preference. But, yeah. Just keep mixing it a little bit here and there. You can go clockwise. You can switch it up and do counterclockwise. I mean, it depends on what day of the week it is. It depends on how you feel for the day. So, yeah, we're doing clockwise here. Yep, turning it, turning it. That's right. Just going to be like one or two minutes. See how, how like, like magic, it's already looking way better than it was before. It looks all mixed together. Oh, we're, oh, oh okay, we're going to put some more water in there now. Yep, there it is. Okay, mix again clockwise, just like we showed you earlier. Cl counterclockwise now, wait, clockwise. Okay, m up and down. Wait a minute, I wasn't ready for this. Up and down move. Okay, clockwise. So, okay, around and then bang it on the side. Okay, bang it on the side. Okay, I think we're done with this right now. This looks this looks good. We're going to leave it at the... Okay, now, guys, we're going to cut this thing. I'm going to show you how to cut it. Okay, into into little pieces. That's right. Looking good, looking good. They already have these cut lines on them, but now now we're gonna go against the cut lines. Yep, it's not it's not a secret anymore. Yeah, now do that. Right, cut them. There you go. That looks really really good. Cut them into re like really tiny pieces, like. But you gotta be careful. You don't cut your fingers. Very careful. Okay, cut them up. Mm hmm. We don't have enough pieces yet, so we're going to keep cutting them all the way. And don't try to, like, leave extra pieces so you can eat them. That's, that's not even cool, man. Just, just cut them. Everything has to be used in the recipe. No saving for later. Stop being greedy. Okay, cut them up. Yep. Almost done, guys. Almost done. This one's not small enough, so we're going to cut it. We're going to cut this one as well. This one, too. It's not small enough. All right. Now, we're going to put them all in this nice little bowl right there. See that bowl right there? Make sure you buy one of those and put them right in the bowl. I'm going to move the knife over for no reason. Hey, okay, guys. So now I got this, this beat up bin, this tin we've had in our family from generations to generations. And uh, you get these little, little sleeves that go inside of them. Yep, little sleeves. And now what you're going to do is... Uh, you have to like uh, pour the stuff in there. All that stuff you were mixing earlier, you're gonna pour it. Wait a minute. Okay, so yeah, so this thing right here, this 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 measuring thing, it's it it could also be used as like a uh, tool for pouring stuff. I'm gonna show you. It looks very difficult. My my mother and her mother's mother and her mother's mother showed me how to do this. Check it out. You go like that, and then swoop. Put it in there, and then you swoop. Turning it. Yep. You see that turn? It's all in the wrist. Swoop. Make sure you turn it. If you don't turn it, you're going to get every 
uh, uh, swoop, you're going to get all this glob all over the place. And you don't want a messy tin. You don't want that. That just, that's not even cool, man. Right there. there you see? It's all in the flick of the wrist. You're probably saying to yourself, man, but you, you, you're dirtying the... The, the measuring cup you're dirtying it but yeah i mean you're gonna wash that afterwards man come on relax there you go we got a lot of these to do i don't i don't know if we're gonna have time to show you all of them but let's uh let's show you as much as we can for now okay got about this is number 12 we still got another 12 to go yep just another 12 to go that's fine okay oh so yeah so after you do them halfway, now you're going to put these little chocolate things that you cut up. Remember, you cut up into 100 pieces. Yep. That's right. They're not Hershey Kisses. Hershey Bar. You put them in the middle. Very important. Not at the bottom. In the middle. All right? So you pour that stuff that you turned and mixed in earlier. You pour that halfway. Then you put the candy in there. Sim this is crazy simple, guys. Come on. This is super simple. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to cover the rest, the other half, with swoop, with that, right? With that mix. So remember, three layers. First layer is the mix. Second layer is the candy. And then the third layer is more of the mix. I mean, it doesn't really get simpler than that, guys. I mean, this is, this is, this is kid stuff. You should be able to get, get this recipe done 15, 20 minutes. You're done. This is crazy. Now, I take it upon myself to fast forward and show you all the, the, the final. This is final. Yep. 10 to 15 minutes. That's all it takes to bake in the oven. Right? Yep. Okay. Now we're going to put them in the oven. Nice. Oh, wow. That was quick. Look how quick that was, guys. They are done. They're looking beautiful. Yep. All right. Now, I'm going to show you a cool trick to get them out of there because sometimes they stick. This butter knife. This butter knife trick. You don't have to buy one. Everyone should have a butter knife in their house. You should have a couple of them. I'm pretty sure you've used them to open doors and as a makeshift screwdriver. Yep. We're fast forwarding it because this could take a little bit of time. All right. Put them all in there. Try to put them... You know, real nice. Just don't toss them on each other, you know? Put them in a nice little circle. Make sure the last one kind of kind of like goes in the middle. That's right. I'm hangry. Ooh. Okay. Put them real nice. All right. Done, guys. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice. Look at that center. That center is gooey and chocolatey. Not sure those are words, but... Yep, that's how I would describe them. All right, so what can be better than just mini fudge brownies by themselves? Well, sugar, confectionery sugar. So we're just going to put a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, don't overdo it, guys. Just a little bit of confectionery sugar, also known as powdered sugar. A little bit. Yep. Okay, just a little bit. Mm. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a tad. Guys, a tad bit. Don't overdo it. Just a, a, bit, a little bit right there. Okay. That's right. Who's going to clean all this up? It's not going to be me. All right. Now you stack them. Because when you stack them, it gives it like a like like more depth to it. Like, you know what I mean? More volume. It just looks more more better. Right? Okay, you stack them as best you can. Now, if you notice that it doesn't look like it's uniform, like there's not enough, that's because you probably ate some of them while you were baking them. So if you're missing some, that's your problem. You're at fault. Don't blame anybody for your issues. You ate them. Okay. Put them there. Nice. Now, with your, a little bit of sugar, guys, remember a tad bit. Okay. Just a bit. That's enough. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, more sugar, guys. More sugar is always better, I guess. I guess I'm wrong. Yep. Okay. More, more, more of this stuff is on the outside of the uh, 
presentation plate, but that's okay. Somebody will clean it up. Okay, move that one. All right, guys, we're done. Beautiful. Now we're going to try it. Look at this thing. I open this thing up right there, okay? Put that right there. Open it up. Mmm, scrum dilly umptious. Look at that. Wow, beautiful. Now I'm going to eat it. Mmm, good stuff, guys. Yeah, this is great. Easy, easy to make, quick and easy, and looks beautiful. You look like a professional pastry chef when you make these at your next gathering. All right, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for taking the time and see you next time. That's right. This has been an episode of In the Kitchen with Yolanda. Voiceover. Make sure you subscribe. You better like. Share. Hit that notification bell. And comment down below.